Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Welcome to Jazz Journey. My name is Jasmine. Today is the month of September already and you know that means three boxes and in this video I'm going to be opening Boxy Lux. I am super excited and I was a little bit shocked. I think every time this Boxy Lux we get a little surprise. Either the box color is different. This one, I don't recall ever them doing something like this that they have the theme. We already see the theme for fall and this is the theme also for september's other boxes so i think that was interesting but to me i think that was the first time that happened i love the fall season and that's the reason why i did this eye makeup look i did not read well this is spoiler alert about this unboxing i did not receive a palette in my box i know i was shocked and i wish i got a palette but quickly you're going to be seeing me doing this eye makeup look using this palette i finally was able to use this palette so we're going to be opening the box and also showing you a quick tutorial using that palette how i did this eye makeup look so if all that interests you guys then you're in the right place so let's go ahead and get started as you know this one costs 50 dollars. i'm going to be sharing with you guys the variation that i received i'm going to put that right here and uh, i did receive eight products it's sad that i did not get a palette i wish i got a palette but uh let's see what else i got in here and what this variation brings the good thing is that you get to pick two items so if you were able to choose then you might start liking your box even more because you got to pick two products and this one was sent to me by boxycharm so i'm super excited and thankful and glad that i got it earlier so i could share with you guys and you guys get to see the variation so the first item i want to share with you guys is cab uh cosmetics you know what thinking about it now i should have used their palette because we have received their palettes in the past um but i wanted to do something more fall <laughs> um so this is how big the packaging is the box is from cap cap cosmetics and it says volume one there is two volumes meaning the shades are going to be different you're going to be seeing me applying this contour uh, on camera and this is from cap cosmetics this is huge what i do like is that there is other powders here that you could use to set your eyes if you like to like the um, translucent powder it has vanilla bean raw so the shades are pretty I feel like good for you to use it as also like a powder i will have to check how translucent it is or how soft it feels it does feel really soft and it does swipe off pretty easily so applying that under the eyes or wherever you want to apply it as a setting powder i think this is pretty good i like how heavy and how big it is the only thing i don't like about this palette is that i wish the shades were a little bit darker um but i did the contour today and it's not bad at all so i guess the shades um i guess they're fine so what i did was i mixed these two i mixed suntan and caramel i love caramel and yeah i'm gonna try these these right here as a translucent powder too to see uh it's just setting my makeup and see how that works so yeah this one is pretty good i'm not sure if everybody's gonna be getting it and this one guys retails for oh my god this one retails for 60 dollars it's a huge huge palette then we're gonna go to rare beauty rare beauty is rare <laughs> that we get that in our boxes i was super excited to see that brand i wish we were able to see other products that i love but um you were able to choose and since this one was sent to me i did not get to pick but yeah i don't know about the item that i got i don't know if you guys selected this uh, let me know but i feel like more people are going to be choosing the other products like the palette and i wish i got a palette so the one i got was the blot and glow a uh, touch up kit this one retails for 26 so this one is a little bit more expensive than the other items that was on the choice i don't have a blot paper so this is something i guess i needed and yeah this one is 26 you will see once you open it i do like that the packaging it does come with a mirror it comes with this cute little sponge and to be honest i really like to apply my powders type of sponge and it does come with the blood papers and it brings a hundred sheets right there so 
yeah this is not bad i feel like this is a way great a great way for you to touch up your makeup so and i love how cute it is how you can put it in your purse and you can find it easily so it's not bad it's something that i don't have so it's great to include that in my purse and uh, like i mentioned that one guys retails for 26 dollars. then we're going to move on to iconic london i wish i got a lipstick here another spoiler alert i did not get a lipstick but this is a mascara this one's called triple thread mascara i forgot there was a mascara in my box but the one i'm wearing today is mark jacobs i am loving guys i am loving this mascara so it's like now i don't even look for another one and um yeah i should have tried it so i'm going to be showing you how thin this one is but it's this one's called triple threat mascara and this is going to help of course they always claim it's going to lengthening the lashes and the ease of the handle makes it so slim and easy for you to apply it separate and coat lashes so i, I like that too i should have tried it so this one guys retails for 26 dollars next i got a cream that i did not try i don't want to try yet because i just got another moisturizer and it's one that i'm already been using you're gonna see that in the premium um unboxing video but this is saturday skin this one is called pretty pop probiotic power with cream this one retails guys 57 dollars some of the claims here that is has four time probiotics to boost the look of a healthy complexion two times the probiotics the prebiotics to activate the full power of the probiotic infusion so interesting what this claims is for this cream and look at the packaging is so so pretty and like i mentioned 57 dollars for this cream then i we got um something interesting for the hair this one's called adagio not so mini flat iron oh my god this one guys retails for 99 dollars at first when i opened it to show you guys how it looks like and i haven't even tried the product yet i'm like i got a flat iron that i finally finally love and you guys could check out that video uh, i love the design the plates and how my hair lasts so much longer before i have to iron my hair like every morning this one i just do it once and that's it i really don't have to retouch and when it's frizzy when my hair sometimes get frizzy when i will go outside when it's a lot of humid uh, humidity um i will have to you will see how frizzy it gets with this one i don't have to i did my hair a few days ago and i have gone outside and it doesn't get frizzy at all so i like that but when i saw the plates on this one and the design and how thin it is i feel like this will be perfect when i need to kind of like give it some waves and some curls because it's so thin so this one i think i'm going to use to create that and yeah I would like to try that in that case because I'm up for work, looking for something that is not going to damage my hair. And this is interesting. I need to check it out a little bit more. This one is a lifestyle company and it's a bamboo body uh, polish. This one reaches for $49. So it says that this has bamboo stem extract and it's derived from the interior portion of the plant and it provides excellent exfoliation it has jojoba oil it delivers essential fatty acids and is quickly absorbed into the skin i like that and if you're going to see the consistency is very runny so it does look like it's going to be easier for it to absorb into the skin well i i'm interested about this you know where a place that i always like to test some creams that is for the body in my feet i know that's crazy and if it does a great work there then it is a keeper so i'm going to try it out and see how this is and i like that it has anti-inflammatory and you could put it in the fridge too i never thought about that for a body lotion so this one guys retails for 49 dollars uh you'll see like it's very runny and it has such a nice relaxing calming scent last guys last is something that if my husband see what i got he's gonna be like finally you got one of those he's been wanting for me to get one and i had some in the past but they when i'm sleeping they tend to uh move around or come down so that's why i'm not a fan of it but seeing it in the box i'm like you know what i get to try this product and this is from grace and stella we have received a lot of 
uh, mask, sleeping mask, or some type of mask from them. And this is actually a sleep mask, but it's hot and cool. So look at this mask. I am excited for this. This one retails for 18. And it does say that when it's warm, it's going to aid getting in a relaxing night's sleep as well as reducing congested sinuses and increasing blood flow to your eye area. So I need to work on that area too. So if you put it in the heat setting or just heat up the sleep mask, that's what is promising to deliver and if you put it or you have the mask cool you could cool it down in the refrigerator when the mask is cool it can help with tired puffy eyes and wake up so you and it could actually wake you up too so i like that this sleep mask I, i'm gonna try it out to see which is gonna work best for me uh cool or warm and i do like that the warm one could help also with the sinus so yeah guys this is my box sadly i didn't get to try out more products i don't want to try out the cream i'm already using one already and that bamboo body lotion i'm excited for so this is my box and i'm going to be sharing with you guys the retail value for this box what is my take on it i feel like a box is not complete when there is not a palette that's how i feel I wish there was some sort of palette here. I do like to see that we have rare beauty products. I am I'm interested on that flat iron, especially when I want to do more curls. I feel like that's going to work great. I'm glad that I got another moisturizer. So now I'm stocking up. And oh, there's so, an item here I forgot to share with you guys. So we're not done. There's another item I forgot. Um, this one is, is from new company defense drops i don't know what to think about this because i don't know i'm kind of careful what i add this one retails for 35 dollars and it's a liquid that contains a blend of herbs and uh, extracts that are natural uh, they're naturally antibacterial antiviral and antifungal properties in that i'm like oh i love that and i i, and I don't mind putting that on my skin but putting it in drops i don't know what i don't know i'm a little bit scared about them just use it at the first sign of scratchy throat or or sneezes to help support your body's immune response try it out and see so that's interesting didn't know that there was an option about that i don't mind that seeing that in my box so yeah this one is not bad i wish it was a palette and i feel like the box would have been better so that i wanted to share with you guys a variation that i received and thank you guys don't forget to subscribe so you guys get to see my other boxes you're gonna see my base and premium unboxing video so thank you once again for watching this video for your support and until the next video bye for this makeup tutorial we're going to start from the top to the bottom and we are going to start with a very soft shade it does look pretty intense but you will see that you don't see it as much so we just apply a little bit of that yellow now we're going to go ahead and apply the orange which is going to be right on top of that crease and just blend it out i like to mix these two colors and i like how it looked now on the crease we're going to add a touch of brown and continue blending that out until you see a nice um flow from the orange to the brown once you apply that on the crease go ahead and apply that on the lid and continue applying that intense brown i feel like it wasn't intense enough so what i did was i used an atacha denona palette the peak palette that it was a collab with boxy charm and i applied a little bit more brown into the lid area now that this look is complete, I'm going back and adding a little bit more of that yellow right by the, the brow bone. And I really like the dimensions that it created for the fall theme. And for the bottom, what I did was apply those same colors from the yellow and the orange. And this completes this look. So thank you guys once again for watching this video. And until the next video, bye.